everybody. Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Backtrace. So, ended up on my list somehow, some way. It has Sylvester Stallone in it. So I think that's how it ended up here. Christopher McDonald. Remember him from Happy Gilmore. Um, Matthew Modine from Vision Quest. Are some of the people I recognize. But the plot is very thin. What they're saying. So, the lone survivor of an uh, armed robbery gets broken out of prison and administered in an in a, um, experimental drug. I don't know. That's all it says. So we don't know too much going into this. But I do know it's 3.7 on IMDb and with 1,217 people rating it. So extremely low expectations. Um, but I'll get into it. It's only an hour and 27 minutes, so I'll start watching it here and give you a better idea what the synopsis is really about and then hopefully tell you if it's any good or not. So stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Backtrace and uh, I don't know, uh, sorry there's no check-ins on this, it's only an hour and 27 minutes and at the time when I was going to check in with you, it was 53 minutes into the movie, I thought just wait till the end, it's not a lot that you're missing out on. So I'll catch you up really quick on it. So Matthew Modine is the guy who in the beginning is the... Um, armed robber or the heist person who um, is a last man standing and gets sent to prison which is actually I believe a psychiatric ward um, and Sylvester Stallone plays the um, cop or detective who's trying to figure out what transpires so these group of um, thieves um, meet these other two guys in an open field gun battle ensues and the, the thieves two of them get killed Matthew Modine survives and the guys who attacked him remain, at, you know, at large. But nobody knows what's happened because when the gunfighting starts, Matthew Modine gets somehow shot, like, in the head. Somehow it seems more like a ricochet and loses his memory. So he can't, he can't share all that information that he had about the heist with anybody. So, and Christopher McDonald plays an FBI detective. So what happened this happens and one of the things a lot of movies that we watch are very slow moving and things like this This is very very fast almost too fast I get it as I try to look at the reviews there's a lot of ones I am a little different on this one I, it's definitely not a one for me it's not a great film either um, but we'll get into that a little bit more it's, so uh, Matthew Modine is in prison and a guy comes in and says, hey, you want to get out of here? And they break him out. So, um, no spoiler alert, sorry, but this is right in the beginning. The one thing that I immediately had criticism about, this strange guy comes in and meets him. And Matthew Medina's like, do I know you? Whatever. And gives him a red pill. And he takes it. So he doesn't even know this guy and he takes his pill. Um, and it makes him really sick, so that's the way they can get him out of there. Um, and then he goes into the nurse's office and she gives him another pill. Um, so this guy just starts taking random pills after being in prison for seven years. But they eventually get him out. And the idea is, during his heist, they had $20 million that they hid somewhere. So these people want to help find this money. And so that's why they want to break him out of prison. And then they want to give him some, like, truth serum that will help him remember everything. And that's where it really gets kind of bad. Like, okay, this is all cool, all well and good. But when they give him the truth serum, it, like, causes bad headaches and he's just like it's really painful to watch how much in pain he is um, but it, it kinda eh, took away from the film for me but the purpose is now to help him remember where is this money and these people are helping him look for him meanwhile Sylvester Stallone and the FBI agent are trying to find him um, and, and recapture him and this all again happens really quick and it ends up in a showdown in some warehouse type place and then, then it's pretty much over so it's a lot of unbelievable stuff a lot of plot holes but you know I, I think there's something there I, I like the the idea of you know hey I'm in prison I forget what happened and somehow we have to figure out first of all I was thinking do we have to figure out is he faking it this whole time or you know does he really not remember and then if um, he does or whichever way you have to have him somehow remember so they can go find the money. Um, so, a uh, very fast pace, a lot of action. Okay, I mean, Sylvester Stallone and um, Matthew Modine did pretty good. Not the greatest in the world, 
Um, but I mean, it's not a terrible, terrible film for only an hour and 27 minutes. I, I'm thinking a five at, at least. Um, it, it kept me interested because it was so fast. There's not a lot of character development. Um, as you can imagine, in that short of a time frame, they don't, uh, you don't understand the, the pain, essentially, that Sylvester Stallone went through trying to solve this mystery for seven years. You don't know the, too much of the backstory of Matthew Modine, but they do kind of tell you. It's just not, you know, you know why Matthew Modine um, and his gang or whatever robbed whatever place it was um, and why they were doing it. And, and it explains it to you, but it's like rather quick. You know, so it's not like you're fully invested or behind him in any way. Um, and then they, they throw in one little bit of a twist, uh, which I, I found interesting. And then they, uh, the, the second twist was very, very obvious. Um, saw that coming from a mile away. And then, then the ending was a little iffy. And we'll talk about that. But uh, for me, if you like action, um, you want to get a quick movie in, I think this one's worth watching. I don't think it's terrible. Um, a lot of people gave it ones, and I understand it. It is nothing, you know, bad directing, bad, you know, production, whatever, all that. It's nothing really fantastic. But I think it's it's worth a watch. Um, you know, when you, you come across, I watch a lot of movies, and you come across a lot of bad, bad stuff, and this is... Not great, but it's not as bad as some of the other ones. They had a little bit there. I think they could have done a lot more with it, um, especially with the, the named actors that they had in it, but they didn't. So that's it for me. I'll give it a five, and I'm going to talk openly about it. So I can give you a second. So if you haven't seen this film yet, go ahead and turn this off and uh, watch it. If, you're, if I intrigued you enough to watch it, if you're not going to watch it, who cares? Uh, but if you've already seen it, or if you just want to hear more about talking... Um, about the, the movie, I'm going to go ahead. So this is your final warning. I'm going to give spoilers. So I'll give you another second there or two. Alright, if you stuck around, you're okay with hearing some, some spoilers about this movie. So here are some of the spoilers um, that I didn't share in the first part. But first of all, Matthew Modine, like I said, he's in the, the psychiatric ward. The guy gives him a pill. He's like, do I know you? Whatever. Well, it turns out one of the things is it's his family. So his two sons and his wife break him out. Um, and again, it not developed, and, but I didn't see it coming. I thought that was pretty neat when you figure it out. And it's like, okay, they're helping him. And they didn't want to tell him that they were his family. They wanted that truth serum to actually work on its own. Um, so they had a logical reason behind why they didn't tell them and why they were helping him find the money as a family. I enjoyed that twist. I liked it a lot. Um, and then Christopher McDonald, the FBI agent, as you could probably predict, he was a dirty agent and he was trying to get the money. So that was the second twist. Um, that one you can see coming from a mile away and that they're truly the bad guys who tried to rob him the first time. He took the money from uh, the bank or wherever they stole the money from. And um, he was the cause that he actually killed the other two guys and he lost his memory. And that's why Matthew Medine was in, in the psychiatric ward, in prison, whatever, because of that. Um, so, yeah, whatever on that one. And then the third and final thing that I mentioned was the ending. So this all goes on. And if you saw the movie, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not going to watch it, whatever. Um, where they, they take down the FBI agents. Um, Sylvester Stallone comes to the rescue while there's six or seven FBI agents chasing around this family of four um, and shooting them and Matthew Medina they're shooting back and then Sylvester Sloan comes in and cleans house there's no other cops there and they, they wipe them out so all the FBI people who were there or the thugs that were siding with the FBI are all wiped out by the Modine family of two sons and a mother and him who uh, is pain in his head and Sylvester Sloan so very ridiculous I get it you know that's just terrible but it you know it happens. So that happens. And then, you know, Matthew Modine's like, here's the bag with all the money in it and, you know, everything like that. And Sylvester Stallone says he heard everything because it's all captured on a cell phone when they were talking about, um, you know, the FBI agent admitting that he was a part of all of this and that he killed everybody else, whatever. And that Matthew Modine, wow, was arrested for armed robbery, served seven years. Sylvester Stallone takes it upon himself to say, We'll call that time serve. You can just go on with your life now. So he has the supreme power 
to go ahead and tell Matthew Modine, it's cool, man. Take your money and go. So he tells him, he goes, go ahead. And he's like, what about my son? He's like, I'll take care of it. I don't want to spend the rest of my life looking over my shoulder. Sylvester Stallone will take care of it. So <laughs> it was very ridiculous, the ending. Um, but whatever. They, you know, you had to let Matthew Modine go away after everything. And um, so it was just silly on how they ended up doing that. But there you go. I wanted to uh, share a little spoilers because um, that was funny. And it was only an hour and 27 minutes, whatever. I keep repeating myself. But that's it. Um, if you check out this movie or if you've already seen it, I'd love to hear your comments um, about the movie. Um, and if you decide to watch it, whatever. Let me know what you think. See if we're on the same page. Um, it's just mindless fun for me. So, all right. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.